Chapter 38, Mob MB's disappearance goes undiscovered for almost two days until someone takes a look at the pinball machine and notices that something is missing. Where's the mouth breather, people begin to ask. It's not until nightfall that people start asking seriously, and by morning it's clear that he's gone. Some people claim they saw him wandering off into the desert. Some people claim there was a mysterious car that took him away. Ralphie Sherman claims he saw MB beamed up to the mothership to be with his own kind. Every suggestion is mauled over. Every theory is entertained. A search is mounted by MB's team. It turns up nothing. Through all of this, the Admiral is silent. Now MB, the kid at the bottom of the pecking order, has suddenly become everyone's best friend and his disappearance fuel for everyone's fire. Roland uses it to further his own agenda of fear. After all, he was the one who very publicly predicted that MB would vanish. He didn't believe it for an instant, but now that his prediction has come true, he has everyone's attention. You watch, Roland tells all those who will listen. The Admiral's going to show up one of these days with a nice thick head of MB hair hidden beneath his hat. And any one of us could be next. He has been looking into your eyes. Has he been listening to the sound of your voice? If he wants a part of you, you'll end up just like MB. He's so convincing he almost believes it himself. Connor has a completely different view of the situation. He's certain that Roland did away with MB so he could use his disappearance to gather support. For Connor, it's more proof that Roland killed the Goldens, that he'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. Connor brings his suspicions to the Admiral. He listens, but still says nothing. The Admiral knows that claiming responsibility for MB's absence would play right into the mania that Roland is creating. The Admiral could tell Connor that he was the one who sent the boy away, but that would beg questions that he had no desire to answer. He decides to let Connor think that Roland did it. It would motivate Connor even more to find that crucial link connecting Roland to the murders. Because now the Admiral has come to believe in Roland's guilt as well. Forget the missing boy, he tells Connor. Concentrate on proving Roland killed the others. Someone must have helped him. Someone must know. Right now, Roland has too many supporters. We can't take him down without hard evidence. Then somehow I'll get you evidence, Connor tells him. I'll do it for MB. After Connor leaves the Admiral's jet, the Admiral sits alone, pondering the ins and outs of the situation. Things in the graveyard have gotten dicey before, but dicey situations have always been the Admiral's specialty. He's sure he can play this one to a successful conclusion and get everyone back under his control. As he sits there in his jet, he gets an ache in his shoulder that spreads down to his arm. No doubt it's another manifestation of his various war wounds. He calls for a medic to bring him some aspirin.